Welcome dear viewers through Nursat Satellite Channel and Telelimir TV. Firstly, Nursat Jordan and Palestine office, represented by its director, Dr. Basim al Sam'an and the team, are delighted to extend their heartfelt congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II and the Jordanian family on the occasion of Eid al-Adha. We pray to Almighty to protect His Majesty, the beloved Jordan and the entire Arab nation with prosperity and progress. Now let's begin with the headlines. In his public interview, Pope Francis speaks about the role of the Holy Spirit in Revelation. Cardinal Pizzabella concludes a pastoral visit to Haifa. The World Council of Churches calls for a ceasefire in Gaza. A first in the Arab world, the establishment of the Music and Arts Therapy Association in Jordan. Also, Cardinal Sacco receives the royal court order naming him Patriarch of the Chaldean Church and overseeing its endowments. Welcome back. Pope Francis conducted his general audience with the faithful in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican, beginning his weekly teaching by discussing the Holy Spirit in Revelation, stating, The Holy Scriptures transmit the Word of God consistently and make the voice of the Holy Spirit resonate in the words of the prophets and apostles. He added that the Church draws nourishment from the spiritual reading of the Scriptures and being endowed with the Holy Spirit. It is pillar and foundation of truth. Its mission is to help believers seeking truth correctly interpret the text of the Bible. His Holiness called for preaching to help convey God's Word from the Scriptures to life, concluding his teaching by saying, May the Holy Spirit help us to understand this love of God in concrete situations of life. The World Council of Churches urged in a statement that all parties involved in the Gaza conflict commit to a permanent ceasefire and ensure an unhindered humanitarian aid reaches all those in need across all borders. It called for meaningful political processes involving all parties to enable people in the region to live in peace and dignity. The Council also demanded the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages held in Gaza without violence, as well as individuals detained in Gaza and the West Bank without due legal procedures. The statement encouraged support through prayer and action for the people of Gaza and the region, emphasizing respect for existing religions and historical status quo in Jerusalem and its multi-religious identity for the three monotheistic faiths. In a related context, the Higher Presidential Committee for Church Affairs in Palestine stated that Israel is assassinating the joy and celebration of the Palestinian people during the religious holidays. It accused Israel of killing thousands of its sons in its devastating war on Gaza and others occupied Palestinian territories. The committee highlighted in a release statement that the people of Gaza especially celebrated Eid al-Adha this year amidst ongoing war, extermination, hunger and displacement. They are living amidst destruction, death, bloodshed and martyrs, similar to the situation in the cities, villages and refugee camps in the West Bank, including Jerusalem. The committee affirmed that the occupation has stripped away humanity and violated the sanctity of holidays and religious occasions, tarnishing joy without regard for international norms, divine laws or cultural customs. His Beatitude Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, conducted a pastoral visit to the city of Haifa. Upon arrival at the city's entrance, he was greeted by several priests, official dignitaries, popular figures, scouts, and a large crowd of residents who expressed their joy at his presence. The procession moved through the city accompanied by scout bands playing music, eventually reaching the church square where parishioners warmly welcomed him with cheers and hymns. Cardinal Pizzabella expressed his pleasure at the gathering, stating, I am glad to get to know you more deeply and to give you my blessings. It delights me to meet with different churches and members of the local community. During the visit, he toured various sites, including the Terra Santa schools, the Old Church, Carmel School, the Sisters of Charity, the Italian Hospital, Catholic and Orthodox Churches, the Prophet Elijah's Cave, and the Nazareth Sisters School. He also visited St. Anne's Monastery, met with patients, and interacted with many. Parishioners. Bishop Christophorus, the Orthodox Archbishop of Jordan, presided over the Divine Liturgy at the ancient church of St. Malachius in Mukawir, Madaba, for the first time in over 400 years. He was joined by several priests, nuns, and gathering of official and diplomatic figures. In his address, Bishop Christophorus reflected on the flourishing of Christianity in the early centuries and the prevalence of monastic life in Mukawir and its surroundings. He prayed for Jordan to be preserved, its leadership, people, and security, 
agencies safeguarding the nation. He expressed gratitude to all involved in highlighting this historic and religious landmark. The church, built in the 6th century AD, features distinctive monastic floors and Greek inscriptions discovered in 1999. On another note, Bishop Christophorus awarded the Holy Sepulchral Medal to Mr. Wadi Mikhail Saade at the Bishop's House in Amman. In his speech, Bishop Christophorus praised Mr. Saade for his role in serving the Church of St. Nicholas in Aqaba and the country over the past three years. In response, Mr. Wadi expressed his pride and honor at receiving this prestigious medal. The ceremony was attended by His Eminence Archimedrite Andraus Shamiye, the spiritual leader of Aqaba Governorate, along with several priests and guests. Minister of Culture Haifa Najjar sponsored the inauguration ceremony of the Music and Arts Therapy Association at the Royal Cultural Center's Conference Hall. The event was attended by Jordanian artists, Syndicate President Mohammed Labadi, and several Jordanian artists. Al Najjar emphasized that this association has significant opportunities for success and achievements if it follows a scientific approach imbued with virtuous values. She highlighted the sensitivity of this type of therapy, which considers ethical, moral, and behavioral dimensions. Dr. Jacques Sarkis, the president of the association, noted in his speech that the Music and Art Therapy Association is the first of its kind in the Arab world, combining the professions of medicine and art. He pointed out that Jordan is the first country to offer a diploma in music and art therapy. The program Khatimayn ala Sakhrat al-Rabb concluded its 23rd edition at the St. Constantine and Helen Hall, aimed at couples preparing for marriage. The event was attended by Archimandrite Irina Simdanat, the responsible person at the Christian Family House, Archimandrite Christophorus, Deacon Khritanius, who provided spiritual guidance, and social counselor Samar Tadros. Approximately 90 participants attended the session where guardians on fertility and sexual health was provided by Father Mdanat, Dr. Maher Zabane, and Dr. Maryam Ghannam. At the conclusion of the course, certificates were distributed to the participants along with a blessed book and an icon. Following the session, a spiritual and counseling meeting was held with the parents of the couples. The speakers emphasized the importance of parental support and encouragement in the success of their children's upcoming marriages. Under the patronage of the acting patriarchal vicar of the Latin Church in Jordan, Father Dr. Jihad Shwehat, the Latin Patriarchate Kindergarten in Smekiya Karak celebrated the graduation of its 23rd cohort of students. The event was attended by Father Khaled Gammo, the church pastor, along with priests, deacons, evangelists Zahal Hjazin, religious lady sisters, and a large gathering of officials, parents, students, and honored guests. The ceremony began with a procession of graduates followed by a speech from Father Dr. Shwehat and remarks from parents commending the efforts of the teaching staff in nurturing their children. The students then presented various artistic and folkloric performances, culminating in distribution of certificates to the graduates. In Baghdad, His Beatitude Patriarch Louis Rafael Sacco received the official decree signed by Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Sudani, appointing him as the Patriarch of the Chaldean Church in Iraq and the world, as well as the custodian of the Chaldean Church endowments in Iraq. This decree was issued in compliance with the ruling of Rasafa and Karada courts. Patriarch Sacco expressed his gratitude to the Prime Minister for the noble contents of this decree, which contributes to the stabilization of constitutional process and the restoration of order in accordance with a path of public good spanning 14 centuries. He also extended his thanks and appreciation to religious Christian and Islamic references, governmental organizations and all individuals who supported him during this decree withdrawal crisis. Dear, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. In his public interview, Pope Francis speaks about the role of the Holy Spirit in Revelation. Cardinal Pizzabella concludes a pastoral visit to Haifa. The World Council of Churches calls for a ceasefire in Gaza. A first in the Arab world, the establishment of the Music and Arts Therapy Association in Jordan. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org.
Thank you for watching. Hope you had a pleasant time and see you again soon.